Hello, my name is Alex Smith, Customer Success Manager with the Global Sales Enablement and Training Department. Today, our topic is what's new in Mind Manager 21 for Windows. This release centers around four core themes. Boost your productivity for a competitive edge. Rise above the information flood. Put plans, projects, and processes into motion. And ignite teamwork and innovation. If you have any questions during today's overview, chat with Mind Manager using our booth. Our team is standing by to answer any of your questions. We have a new topic info design that increases efficiency and helps with productivity. All the metadata that you need from your documents is readily at your fingertips, whether in the document itself or in a pop-out info card, which we'll talk through as well. Visualization was another major enhancement for Mind Manager 21 with the addition of object relationships and line jumps, as well as new shapes. Integrations has been a major enhancement within Mind Manager 21 as well. Today, we'll take a look at Mind Manager's import and export with the new platform for MS Word. We'll also discuss cloud access locations and the ability to do map rollup within those. After that, we'll discuss Mind Manager's integration focusing on teamwork, specifically Microsoft Teams and the Mind Manager Snap application as well as the new MDEC style of slide deck that you can produce with My Manager 21. And in closing, we'll cover the Make It Golden concept, something that's been with My Manager all year and has been a core focus of ours as we look to the future. Let's begin with productivity. My Manager 21 features topic info redesign. Now, if you're a previous user and you have documents that are more or less set in stone, you can choose between a legacy mode and a modern mode for your topic info layouts. As a brief example, legacy mode is listed here on the left. This is a standard topic in Mind Manager 2020. It has metadata such as properties, icons, and tags, as well as a due date and a cost associated with it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Mind Manager's task info from Mind Manager 20 to Mind Manager 21. As you can see, the icons have been shifted down into the topic info along with the properties. In addition, the tags are a bit more highlighted with new shapes and structures. In addition, you can also hide topic info as represented by the three dots here in the lower left corner. Whenever I hover over these dots, I have the option to pop out a new task info card. And when I need to add more context to the document itself, I can use text accelerators to do so. We'll walk through some of those examples now. Let's begin by looking at the topic info links. With My Manager 21, we've made it possible to expose the links and their titles within the topic info, as you can see here. You can also include multiple links on topics and have those titles available as well. Let's take a look at the legacy mode and see the difference. By clicking on any of the topic info, you can choose to show the display settings here. When we select legacy mode, we'll be able to see the difference. To access links in legacy mode, you need to use this icon to open a context menu and select the link from here. Next, we'll take a look at topic info cards. Here's a simple flowchart example in Mind Manager 21. To open our topic info cards, use the three dots in the lower right corner. By clicking on it, you can open the topic info card and position it on the screen. If you need to open multiple cards, you can do so as well. It's also very helpful when moving information between topics. As you'll see, I can easily grab the status from this topic and drag it to this topic. I can do the same with notes as well as resources. Once I'm finished with the topics, I can close them out, either using the X on the topic info card or the X on the topic itself. The reason that this is helpful is that most times, flow diagrams, as you're looking at now, need to be very specific in size and structure, and topic info can definitely adjust that structure. With Mind Manager 21, it's easier to make uniform topic sizes and shapes by hiding the task info that may be amended to the topic. Let's take a look at these topics in legacy mode and remove any of the hidden information behind them. By right-clicking on the three dots, 
we can choose to open the display settings here and change to legacy mode. We can also remove the show hide options that are in place. As a result, our entire flow is completely different. Now with My Manager 21, this is no longer an issue. Even when using filters, everything stays in its place. And this enhanced visualization allows your team to be more productive. Next, let's take a look at Mind Manager 21 and the update we've made to icons. Here's a look at a document with icons in Mind Manager's legacy mode. As you can see, each icon affects the alignment of the text for each topic. Well, within Mind Manager 21, this is no longer an issue. Let's go ahead and right click on some of the topic info, choose to open the display settings, and change this to modern mode. Now, all of our topics are left aligned and much more clear and concise. Let's take a look at the enhancements of Mind Manager 21 for properties. In Mind Manager 21, properties are shifted inside the topic info section rather than the topic itself. Let's take a look at legacy mode and see the difference. It's also possible to do inline text editing by clicking directly on the property. In Mind Manager 21, you can use text accelerators to add resources and tags. Let's take a look at that now. If we click on this topic and begin typing with the add symbol, we get a drop down list of any of the people that are already listed as a resource within our document. And this is very helpful when needing to filter through the list as you begin to type you can see all of the resources that are available with those letters. If you'd like to add a resource color, simply click on someone's name, go to add resource color here, and choose from the drop down menu. In addition, you can add tags to your topics the same way using the hashtag. Any tags that are already present within your document will appear here. If you need to add a new tag, simply continue typing or select from the list. Topic info can also be hidden within the mind map by right clicking on any element and going down to hide. Within the display settings, you can choose between a number of options for show and hide, including notes, links, tags, icons, and many different kinds of task info and properties. Visualization is another key element of Mind Manager 21. We've enhanced objects by adding relationship capability, included line jumps for increased levels of clarity within your documents, and developed new shapes to help you convey your message clearly. Let's take a look at this rounded rectangle here, and we'll be able to see that it has a direct relationship to a subtopic. That's a brand new function for Mind Manager 21. In addition, you'll notice that any and all lines that cross within a diagram have a certain break that allow you to see the transition very clearly. These line breaks can be updated and adjusted on the fly using formatting, and we'll walk through that within our example. Here's an IT systems diagram that would have not been possible within Mind Manager 20. As you can see, each and every one of these topics is directly attached to an object. In addition, these objects are bypassed and you have this object directly pointing to this object. This is a Mind Manager 21 feature specifically. Next, let's take a look at line jumps using a sales process diagram. Here's a sales and service process diagram with Mind Manager 21 functionality enabled. Each time a line is crossed, there's a separator that helps to visually identify one path compared to the other. In previous versions of Mind Manager, it was necessary that every line have a different style or formatting to identify the direction. If you would like to format the lines themselves, you can simply right click on any line and choose to format the relationship. Here you can choose between the different kinds of line jumps for all your relationships. Your options are horizontal arc, vertical arc, horizontal gap, vertical gap, 
horizontal bridge, or vertical bridge. Let's select this option and look at the difference. Mind Manager 21 allows for the import and export of supported files via places. That way you can access documents in Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, and other online storage providers. In addition, you can aggregate data from multiple sources through places using My Manager's rollup function. And when exporting to the Microsoft Word platform, you have much more flexibility and customization at your fingertips. Let's take a look at an example now. When exporting a My Manager file, you'll need to go to File, down to Export, and then choose from this list of options. For now, we'll discuss Microsoft Word. Here you have two different options, the Quick Export or Custom. When selecting Custom, you can identify elements like the topics, the icons, tags, task info, properties, map elements, and any additional content such as notes or a table of contents. You can also adjust the content order using drag and drop, as you can see here. You can also adjust the topic info layout for table, list, or paragraph. And if you're working with a template of any kind, you can use a custom word template here and adjust each and every item using the drop down menu provided. Also new to My Manager 21 is the ability to access places when using the map rollup function for Mind Manager. Let's take a look at an example now. Within Project Atlas, we can see that we're missing a list of tasks that have been completed. Using Map Rollup combined with Places, we can now pull this information in, and every time it's updated in its native location, this map will render the most up-to-date information. We'll begin by clicking on the parent topic, Project Atlas. We'll then go to the Advanced tab at the top of the screen and choose the Map Rollup option. We will now insert a new Map Rollup. Here we have a list of all the places that we have access to. For now, I'll choose this folder and continue looking for the document. Next, we'll have to select the specific topic and decide if we want to bring in the topic only or the topic in all of its branches. This indicator will let us know that it is a map rollup and that every time it's updated by someone else, we will see the latest content in our map. Mind Manager 21 is also very focused on teamwork, especially in the remote working environments that we all find ourselves in these days. Another core function that we've added this year is the ability to create slide deck presentations. And in fact, we've created a brand new file extension called MDEC, which will allow you to aggregate data from multiple maps into one presentation style deck for easy access and clarity amongst your team. As you've seen throughout this example today, I've used the presentation mode from Mind Manager 21 to provide this overview of the new platform. Let's take a look at how that works. My Manager presentations are accessible and easy to use. As you can see, hovering over elements still brings up their topic information and allows you to see elements like resource cost, duration, start date, and due date. The actual topics are still accessible and you can open and close the branches and collapse any data that's unnecessary. When you enter editing mode of the slides themselves, you can then readjust the order by drag and drop or copy slides so that they can be pasted into other diagrams at another time. You can create new slides, duplicate or delete slides as well. After selecting a slide, you can press play to begin the presentation. My Manager 21 also features an integration with Microsoft Teams. You can now co-edit maps with colleagues using the Microsoft Teams interface. That way you can manage dashboards and keep projects on track. After you launch Mind Manager in the web using Teams, you can select from predefined templates or themes to open your first document. To create your file, simply choose one of the themes or templates and click Create. 
Within the My Manager Teams app, you have your standard menu at the top of the screen, supported by a sub-menu for all your standard items. Within Menu, you can save the document and change the view mode from standard to presentation. You can also search the document for any key terms. Here, you can save or open new files as well as print and export the document. And you can adjust the view here as well. Below that, you have your redo and undo options, cut, copy, and paste, the ability to change the topic, including inserting topics like floating topics, as well as subtopics and main topics on the same level. You can also insert callouts, apply relationships, and apply boundaries. You can adjust the shape of the topic as well as the fill color, insert additional shapes, or use smart shapes. Along the right side of the screen, you can begin to filter your document based on any of the filterable criteria, and the options are Show, Fade, and Hide. Filterable criteria includes things like task information, such as priority. You can easily drag and drop information from one topic to the other, and if you click the actual icon, it will update and adjust itself automatically. This way, we can now run a filter for all of our second priority items. To remove the filter, simply click the icon again. Also on the right side of the screen is the ability to add additional icons or comment on topics as well. Down below, you will be able to see any of the attachments or hyperlinks within the file and any notes that are stored on that particular topic. To zoom in and zoom out, use the slider provided. You can also create tabs within Microsoft Teams that have access to files and folders directly for your Mind Manager users. With Mind Manager Snap, we also allow you to capture, receive, and share content with your colleagues based on team environments in Snap as well. You can add multiple team members and send content to them via Snap on your mobile device and desktop computer or Chrome browser extension. Mind Manager 21 features over 30 usability and productivity enhancements. Some of those we've covered today, but we encourage you to download the product and discover for yourself other elements like resource color coding, simplified horizontal scrolling, and the customizable Snap to Grid, and much more. Thank you for your time today. It was my pleasure presenting to you. Again, my name is Alex Smith, Customer Success Manager with the Global Sales Enablement and Training Department. Take care.